So in this tutorial we're going to look at um, Marmoset 2 and how to make um, a decent kind of glass with mud splatter on it for our vehicles. Uh, so the first thing we need to do then um, is duplicate our glass. So here we just have a windscreen so I'm just going to use Control D to duplicate that. I'm going to call one windscreen glass and this one I'm going to call windscreen dirt. Okay, so the reason you need two is because you have one that displays the dirt and nothing else, and one that is the glass. So um, Marmoset cannot handle the transparency combined with the dirt and the normal map and everything. So what we'll do then is make a um, click on our materials thing and go to glass, and we'll just drag that onto our glass there. So I'm just going to pull this out so we can see our glass there. Uh, now you might find you want to tweak this a little bit, for instance you could put the gloss down, um, you could turn down the, second, the secondary reflection strength and so on. Um, and can you change this colour make any difference? Nope. Uh, now you might find the specular, yeah the specular makes a difference so if you want to tint that as well and you can do that. So there's our glass model, and notice how I also have thickness on the glass as well, so I've modelled it with thickness. So on our second one here, we're going to make another new material, and we'll make this one glass again. But this one, we're going to change our transparency mode to Diver. Now what this means is, you'll be able to use an alpha to uh, show bits that white is visible, bits that are black that are invisible, and anything in between will have some slight translucency to it. Now I've already prepared some textures. So um, I've already prepared some textures of this. Now um, since we know that there's just going to be dirt sat over the top of this, I've literally just painted a dirt map. Now one thing I have done though is anticipated the fact that the dirt where the wipers is will have been smudged and smeared across this, hence why I have that kind of smearing on there. And um, you know, there's a variety of um, of tools you can use for this. One I know people use to, like to use quite a lot is something like the uh, the blur tool, and you can just blur this along like that if you wanted to do any more. Or you could even use something like the smudge tool and smudge that out. Um, but just to show you, you could literally just have this um, as, you know, like a solid kind of mud texture if you wanted. Just for ease of use, I'm going to do that. Um, so the next thing I have is an actual alpha map here. And so I've spent a little bit of time actually painting this alpha map properly. So we can see where the windscreen is, and we can see where all the mud and stuff is going to sit. Um, so again, just to do this prop so you understand what I'm doing here, we're going to delete that out. We're going to add a new alpha with this button here. We're just going to go to white here, and I'm literally just going to paint some white in my alpha. So let's save this out. And obviously, I've called it windscreen A for our BD. I'm just going to call this windscreen example. So now, if we jump back into Marmoset, we'll select our glass, and we'll drop the albedo into here. And, and drag that onto there. So we can see now, all that's being displayed is whatever was in the alpha, and nothing is happening on any other part of it. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that uh, this kind of weird shimmering effect is happening. Now, this only happens in the viewport. If I just do capture image and open, you can see it's got a nice kind of blurred look to it. So don't worry about that shimmering effect, that will go away once you've done the, um, uh, once you've output the actual turntable. Um, so once you've done that, one thing you might want to do is put your uh, mud map through something like Endo, so that you actually get a bump to the surface. Um, just to hack this together again, what I'm going to do is just put a noise on this. 
and then open up end OT. And then what we'll do is just convert this over to a normal map. Now if I ramp up the size, well that's definitely too big. Somehow managed to load the old endo as well rather than the new one. I didn't even think it still had that installed, apparently so. Um, okay, so that'll do. So we'll save this out. Window example, and save. Okay, so if we uh, jump back into Marmoset, what we'll do is load that into our normal map slot. We can see now we're actually getting the normal map displaying on this, but notice how it's not displaying anywhere else, and that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, the fact that um, you can use a normal map on the MUD, and it'll only show where the mud actually is because the alpha is emitting the rest of it. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, one thing you want to do is your gloss map as well, obviously. So we can see the small kind of difference that that makes. Um, if you're using metalness, you could set this to metalness. Put your metalness onto zero and then define, define your gloss that way. Um, so if we just stick this back into back into here, we'll select our mud and one thing other thing you'll want to do is just ramp this up very slightly above that one. And the way I normally do that is actually if we just go to glass, go to transform, put that on zero, and we'll go to this and um, set the height to minus 0. Point, oh, sorry that's the mud. So we'll put 0. 0.01 and that will just ramp it up very slightly above it. So I'll just show you the texture that I actually used, so um, that one. And um, actually I need to load in all my other um, all my other maps as well. And I think I'd probably get this on uh, Specular or something like that as well. Um, so yeah, you can see that's displaying reasonably well. Um, there's definitely something I haven't done quite right on it though, maybe not on there, because uh, it shouldn't be quite as light as that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you create glass, and obviously if we just do a um, image and open, you can see the mud that doesn't have any of that weird effect. So you need two materials, two objects, and your glass to just set it to divver on the transparency.